Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. The average person spends most of their life chasing success with little to show for it. However, the answer to becoming successful and leading a fulfilled life stares at them throughout. Each of us is bestowed with some level of creativity and from time to time get inspired to unleash our creative juices. Yet, it's inertia or laziness or perhaps just plain unwillingness to do something about it that leaves us aplomb in our couch, surfing channels than to get up and act on our creative spark. Before you know, that brain of yours becomes the junk box where you hoard ideas galore without an ounce of action to bring them to fruition. A creative impulse is like a shock, where you jerk, but then a lot can get in the way of it being leveraged to create something, let alone something meaningful. As a result, when you look back at how far you have come in life, you would see a path littered with ideas that went nowhere and times that have gone by where you have always consumed more than you created. Let me tell you, you are not alone. The world is full of such people who consume more than they create, and that is the opportunity for those that truly create. Because the consumers have been, and will be, always around. True joy is in creating more than consuming. And you'll find happiness, thrill, and satisfaction when you can inspire someone who consumes to follow suit and get on the creative bandwagon. Think about it. How do you feel when you spend a lot of time just listening without getting an opportunity to express your thoughts and opinions? When you have visited a place or watched a movie or documentary but had no outlet to express your feelings? If you do not feel anything, there's a bigger issue that needs to be addressed. But if you do feel the urge to express, perhaps you can tell another, or write a journal, or in a notebook for yourself, or perhaps paint a picture. Whatever allows you to express, you would have a better experience altogether. The goal here is to ensure you truly enjoyed the experience all around, and were able to interact with it and about it. While this expression can be in the form of journaling, writing a few verses, painting a picture, exchanging dialogue with friends, playing an instrument, singing or anything else that helps you express yourself, it can also go to the next level, where you take what you created, perhaps an article, a novel, a painting or a portrait, a poem, song or a film, and offer it to others to find their own inspiration in consuming your creation. Whether you are consuming or creating, the end goal is to find new experiences. How does it allow you to get in touch with your inner feelings? How does it inspire you, or others for that matter? How does it allow for a balance between your creative and consumption needs, while allowing you the mental space to continue on your chosen journey? Any successful person you look up to, take note that they enjoy fulfilling lives because they create more than they consume. When you create more than you consume, you enjoy financial and material success anyway, but more importantly, you cherish good health, happiness and fulfillment. Happiness and fulfillment are closely tied to your self-worth, and self-worth comes from your ability to create and deliver. The ability to create ensures that your smarts are always on the job. At times when you are consuming, for instance reading a book or watching a show, you are also thinking creatively to analyze what you consume and what the information you have consumed means to you. Consumption without a purpose or benefit is sheer waste, a waste of time, energy and the knowledge to be exchanged. Accumulation of knowledge is a given. 
wealth finds its way to you since you're creating what is of value to others, not just yourself. No one is a master creator. It's a journey. If you take away from this article that you need to start, start now, and that is worth it. Over time, through practice, you'll hone your creative skills. They will be more impactful than you can ever imagine. Put consistent work, learn from your mistakes, and see the improvements you make. Do not just aim for perfection. Instead, focus on consistency, improvement, and value creation. Spend time and effort on producing some output. Tangible or intangible, there's value in what you create, for yourself and for others who consume it. And where there is value in your creation, there's value created for you in all forms as well. Hey, I hope you liked that episode. Please do check out Plan B Success Podcast on your favorite listing platforms. It's also available on www.planb.live. If you're looking to learn how to podcast and learn everything there is to ideate, create, launch, and monetize a podcast, do get in touch through the website www.planb.live. And I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.